Hey guys and welcome to a new video of Bitcoin Edge. Today we're taking a look at the charts. And we will start with an interesting tweet over here. Um, this is a nice chart showing the balance of BDC and exchanges going down all the way starting at January um, this year. Um, and you can see it's declining hard, uh, a lot less uh, BTC on the exchanges while the price is going up. That means the scarcity on, of BTC on exchanges is going up. Year to date balance on exchanges minus 18%. Well, that is very bullish and the price is going up. So there are just being less Bitcoins for sale. So meaning less sellers means price go up. It's as easy as that. If people stop selling it, price will go up. Um, really bullish chart. Really, really bullish. Also, to start off, we have a premium of still uh, around $20 on Coinbase over Bitfenix, which is really, um, really bullish as well, because uh, Coinbase is mostly spot buying. So, that is very bullish as well. People buy... Um, Bitcoins, real Bitcoins, um, with money, with fiat, new fiat, new fresh fiat, coming on Coinbase, buying Bitcoins, and not playing leverage. You cannot uh, liquidate people who um, don't play with leverage. So, very bullish. Anyway, looking at uh, leverage traders. Uh, in the meantime, we see funding about to drop again. Very good. Right at the top, it was high over here. Over here, it was was high, and now it's going lower, meaning we get new fuel again to go higher again. So uh, this doesn't look like it's gonna stop soon. This looks like it's accelerating, and not even accelerating too hard, in my opinion, since premiums are not even high and people are not over leveraged long. Of course, if it does happen, if it does happen, we will make a quick wig down in one day. Easily a 10% wig to the downside to, to shake everybody out of their lungs and then make them buy again higher. That's basically what, what will happen. This is the chart I left um, the video with yesterday and it came out a little earlier than I expected. Very nice. Um, if I draw something like that, I make sure I'm long, staying long, playing to the long side. Sometimes I might scalp a little bit in a triangle like this. Um, but yeah, I was long, very happy. Um, and I think it will continue. This is looking very good, guys. Going to the weekly chart will be crazy. We don't need a lot of lines to see that, yeah. Lovely weekly, weekly candle going for the all-time high. Let's take a look. What was the exact all-time high over here? Well, the exact highest close ever. Well, we are getting really close. It was around the 18, 19 K area and we're getting really close to that guys. We already touched it in my opinion. Um, we are about to set the highest weekly close ever. Isn't that something? And the monthly... Uh, it's one and a half week from now. Let's take a look at the monthly candle. And wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, we can easily set the highest monthly candle ever soon. Candle close, it's about the body. And um, yeah, nothing to add to that. It's looking amazing, guys. Like I said, um, Bitcoins on exchange is declining. Price um, going up. Yeah, what else do you want? Also, premiums on spot exchanges, uh, over $30 right now, really nice. Um, let's take a look at a shorter time frame. 
Right now I am watching this trend line over here. Might differ a little bit, you know, the wicks on different exchanges, but this is what I'm looking at. Something like this. Right now we made a little top, a little, little, this is the exact spot they should be bouncing from. A little shake out to the downside could happen. There are a lot of supports still to test. This is one of them as well. That's around um, 18,400. Could be possible as well. Really nicely aligning with this one. Um, could still be very bullish. Still looking very good. Um, there's not, not much bearish stuff to say about it. You can look at it over here. I sometimes, when I'm scalping, look at the... 5 minute chart and you could draw something like this at the moment and uh, it's looking very good still what we want to see right now is a higher low than this one if they stay above this one it's looking very good and it seems that they will and we want to see a breakout up from here we want to see something like this going to new highs what does the predicted funding do in my chart we are always looking at the bitmax funding bybit is very high and i think retail traders are mostly on bybit um, i like bybit the most as well um, you pay a little bit of a price with the high funding at this moment um, usually goes down quite quickly um, if you want to trade with some leverage, make sure you use one of the sign-up links. They're also in the video description. Um, and why would you use one of these links? Well, uh, you get up to 20% discount on trading fees. And trading fees eat your profits. So make sure you use one of these. Also, uh, if you want to support my channel, use one of these sign-up links. Um, you help me, you help yourself. And together we make money. That's how we do it. Um, if you ever have any questions, please let me know. Taking a look at Ethereum, Ethereum made a new high, a new yearly high, looking very good over here, Ethereum USD. Like we said yesterday, we will go to 560 pretty soon. Uh, I can draw it again. I would say 560, after that uh, 840 or something. And, I mean, Ethereum... Um, was front running btc a little bit broke last year's high um, quite quickly this year with the DeFi stuff going on um, and now it's lagging btc a bit so but still you know ethereum is going to 560 ethereum btc is the question right now ethereum btc made um, a lower low over here right now they're bouncing but Ethereum BDC needs to make a higher high, needs to go back above this one. And it is not looking so good at the moment. We want something like this. This is what we want. This is what I'm expecting. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm playing for Ethereum BDC. And the chart hasn't changed much. So, I mean, I can, oh, I can, um, draw a lot about it but basically that's it this should be the last retest it is a double bottom at the moment um, but that really should be it it should be bouncing from here if they bounce from here and go down here again it is bad the weekly we want as well to bounce here this is not looking too good i mean it's kind of kind of bit of both I hope this was a fake out I think this was a fake out um, but yeah that's kind of, kind of the case for me with Ethereum I think this is a fake out I think this is a bullish falling wedge with a fake out of a break of this trend line that is what I'm expecting um, Ethereum 2.0 is coming up and I expect it to go wild something like this Boom, boom. Well, all-time highs is a bit too much, but Ethereum is very much bullish. Uh, Ethereum all-time high is at $14,000, something like that. 
Um, and I mean, Bitcoin is already at almost their all-time high, so I expect Ethereum to do a lot more as well over here. Anyway, I'm very bullish on everything. Um, if you have any questions, please subscribe, let me know what you think, and if you have questions, ask them as well. I will answer them. I love answering your questions. See you guys again tomorrow.